Hi friends, in this video we see about PN junction diode. I would like to explain some fundamental uh, concept related to PN junction diode. Okay. So the first one is intrinsic semiconductor. That means that semiconductor which is pure and contains no impurity is called the intrinsic semiconductor. Here in the semiconductor, the number of free electrons and holes are equal. The example for this type of semiconductor is germanium and silicon. Okay, so intrinsic semiconductor means pure semiconductor. So the next one is doping. Doping means the process of addition of very small amount of impurity to the intrinsic semiconductor is called the doping. That means we add very in uh, we add very small amount of impurity atom to the pure semiconductor okay that process is called the doping so here the impurity atom is called the dopants then which atom accept the impurity atom is called the acceptor okay so doping means the process of addition of small amount of impurity atom to the intrinsic semiconductor that is pure semiconductor okay so the next one is extrinsic semiconductor so extrinsic semiconductor means the semiconductor containing impurity atom it is not a pure conductor okay so uh, uh, the why we add the impurity atom to the pure conductor that means to increase the electrical conductivity okay to increase the electrical conductivity of the semiconductor we add the impurity atom to the extrinsic semi uh, to this uh, pure semiconductor so that type of semiconductor is called the extrinsic semiconductor okay so the next one is uh, depending upon the doping atom extrinsic semiconductor is classified as P type and N type semiconductor. Okay, so the extrinsic semiconductor, uh, two um, extrinsic semiconductor uh, classified into two types. The first one is N type semiconductor, and the second one is P type semiconductor. So N type semiconductor means a small amount of bendavalent impurity added. So bendavalent means uh, that is benda means five. So valence means the electrons uh, in the outermost cell of the atom is called the valence electron. Okay. Okay, so here the valence electron is 5. Okay, so the, we call that bendavalent impurity. Bendavalent. Okay, so the bendavalent impurity, such as example for bendavalent uh, atom is arsenic. Okay, this type of bendavalent impurity is added to the pure semiconductor that is germanium. germanium. Okay, so we, uh, we uh, that form the n type semiconductor. Okay, uh, here in uh, n type semiconductor, majority charge carriers are free electron and minority charge carriers are holes. Okay, so the next type of semiconductor is p type semiconductor. In p type semiconductor, trivalent impurity is added. So, trivalent means the electrons in the outermost cell has three electrons. Okay, um, so that uh, that is called the trivalent. So, that Trivalent atom is added to the pure semiconductor, then it becomes P type semiconductor. The example for trivalent impurity is indium, boron, gallium. Okay, so here majority charge carries is hole and minority charge carries is electrons. You remember n type in n type semiconductor majority charge carries electron minority holes okay but in p type semiconductor majority charge carriers are hole and minority charge carriers are electron okay so the next one is formation of pn junction okay so what happened when we join the p type and the n type semiconductor okay so uh, when we uh, as the junction is formed free electrons and holes crossing through the junction by the process of diffusion okay so that means in p type uh, in a p type uh, semiconductor that means uh, here the blue color represent the p type in this p type hole is high okay so there is high concentration of hole but in n type has large number of electron that is high concentration of electrons okay so when we join the p and n type uh, here one process take place that is called the fusion, diffusion. So diffusion means in the, um, uh, the electrons and holes are uh, cross the junction. Okay, that is called the diffusion. During this uh, process, uh, the electrons crossing the junction from N region into P region. Okay, so in N region, electrons are more. Okay, so the electrons 
crossing the junction from end region to the p region okay so and recombine with the holes in the p region very close to the junction similarly holes crossing the junction from the p region into the end region okay so hole is co highly concentration in p region okay so then uh, holes are uh, cross the uh, uh, cross the junction from p region into the end region and recombine with the electrons in the end region very close to the junction okay thus a region is formed okay uh, so so the uh, so the movement of electron from the n type and the hole from the p type forms a region that region is called the depletion region okay so in this region uh, which does not have any mobile charges very close to the junction so this region is called the depletion region okay. so uh, the next one is an electric field is set up in the depletion region okay so when now we apply the electric field the potential at the end side is higher okay so the potential at the end side is higher than the potential at p side okay so we take the that potential means we apply the electric field okay we apply the voltage okay so that voltage is higher in n side and lower in p side okay so then what happens the electrons in the n side or prevented to go to the lower potential of p side okay so that is some it prevent the electrons in the n side okay similarly holes in the p side find themselves at the lower potential and are prevented to cross the n side okay so p has lower potential then further the holes are not moved to the uh, um, uh, end region okay so uh, that means this a uh, barrier at the junction is formed okay that means there is a barrier at the junction which opposes the movement of the majority charge carriers so the difference of potential from one side of the barrier to the other side is called the potential barrier okay so this poten um, uh, when we give the uh, when we apply the potential uh, the when we apply the electric field that potential barrier is created in the junction okay so that means uh, it prevent the movement of charges okay so the potential uh, that is called the potential barrier means uh, that is uh, prevent okay so the, um, the potential barrier is formed in the uh, junction it prevent the movement of uh, majority carriers okay so the potential barrier is approximately 0 0.7 volt for silicon pn junction and 0 0.3 volt for a germanium okay so the distance from one side of the barrier to the other side is called the width of the barrier okay which is this width of the barrier is depends on the nature of the material okay so that um, for different material it is uh, the width of the potential barrier is different okay so the next one is forward biased so forward bias means when the pn junction forward bias means uh, when you apply the electric field okay so the battery connection is uh, the a negative terminal uh, is connect uh, is connected to the n region that means uh, the battery positive uh, negative terminal is connected to the n type and uh, positive terminal is connected to the p type okay that is called the forward okay so negative means n and uh, positive means uh, p okay so um, uh, when the pn junction is forward bias the applied positive potential repels the holes in the p region okay because uh, positive is connected to positive p holes so the like charges are uh, ripple okay so uh, ripples uh, uh, so the positive potential repels the holes in the p region and the applied negative potential ripple uh, ripples the electrons in the n region okay so the negative negative that is uh, ripples each other so the changes move uh, so the charges move towards the junction okay so uh, uh, the charges move uh, here uh, there is repulsion takes place so the all the charges move through the junction okay move towards the junction if the uh, it, uh, if the applied different potential difference is more than the potential barrier okay so here some uh, i already told that some potential barrier is that now we apply the now we connect the positive terminal to p type and negative terminal to the p type then the potential is uh, more than the potential barrier 
some holes and free electrons enter the depletion region okay so potential barrier as well as the width of the depletion region are reduced okay so in the forward biased the barrier and the width of the depletion region are very small okay uh, that is called the forward biased so under the action of the forward potential difference the majority charges carries flow across the junction is opposite direction of direction and produce current flow in the forward direction okay so th this is known as the forward biased so the next one is uh, reverse biased reverse biased means uh, so negative terminal is connected to the p region and positive terminal is connected to the n region okay so when the uh, pn junction is reversed biased electrons in the n region and holes in the P region are attracted away from the junction, isn't it? So the uh, um, the end uh, here positive and uh, end type is connected to the positive, so they attract the charges. Then P type is connected to the negative, so they also attract the charges. So uh, so the electrons in the end type and holes in the uh, P types away from the junction. Okay, so. Because of this, the number of negative ions in the P region and the positive ions in the N region increases. Okay, so that means the depletion region is increases and the potential barrier is increased. Okay, since the depletion region does not contain majority charge carriers, it acts like an insulator. Okay, so uh, so the depletion region is act as a insulator. There is no charges is there. Okay. So it acts like a insulator. Therefore, no current should flow in the external circuit. But in practice, a small, very small amount of current uh, of the order of few micro amperes flow in the reverse direction. Okay, this is uh, why uh, because this is due to the minority carriers flowing in the opposite direction. Okay, so this is called the reverse to biased PN junction. So reverse bias means uh, we apply the negative terminal to the P type and positive terminal to the N type, and the dependent region potential barrier uh, with this increases. Okay, uh, that is called the reverse bias PN junction. Okay, that's all, friends. Thank you.